Today I've got a great one for you. It is my smoked salmon recipe and I'm going to show you how to brine it and we're going to smoke it so you can have it on bagels or however you want with eggs etc. It's great for breakfast. Look at this beauty. Let's get to it. Okay guys we're going to make the brine for the salmon and that's going to soak overnight for eight hours at least in the refrigerator. Then we'll take it out tomorrow and we're going to smoke it. But what we're going to start out with, though, got my new glasses on, they're sliding. Anyway, what we're starting out with is soy sauce, low sodium soy sauce, about two cups. And then we have sugar. And we have salt. We have onion powder. Let's get it all. And garlic powder and red pepper flakes and Tabasco and I gotta tell you about this Tabasco this is the diamond reserve one that's recently come out Tabasco is amazing they actually I worked with them about a year ago flew me out to Avery Island, toured all around, had an amazing time, toured the factory and the mash barrels and taste tested this and that and developed some recipes for them and just had a wonderful time. But they recently sent me a bottle of this uh, Diamond Reserve and it's so good. If you could find it, check it out. But I'm using that today in this, but you can use the regular Tabasco too. All is good. Okay. So then we're going to have some white wine that goes in and water. So we're going to stir this to dissolve the sugar and the salt. Then this gets poured over the salmon, place it in something you know shallow like a 13 by 9 baking dish is usually what I use. And I'll put some saran wrap or foil over it and then put it in the refrigerator for at least eight hours. That is the brining. Then we take it out and we're going to air dry it so it develops. It's called a pellicel. pellicel. All right, that is mixed. Now let's pour it over the salmon. So as you can see, I have my salmon here. On one side, I do leave the skin on. Uh, that holds it together better when it's in the smoker and when you're taking it out, so it just, it just crumble. Um, make sure you feel for any bones. Rub your hand across, and if you do, either use little uh, needle nose pliers or tweezers. Pull those out. We're going to pat this dry. This looks like it's a little bit bigger. It's a three pounder, a little bit bigger than the uh, pan I'm going to be brining it in, which is my 13 by 9 baking stone. So I'll probably cut this in half and have two pieces, smoke it that way. But let's get to it. So we can, right, we're gonna stir this brine one more time. And let's pour some in. Yeah, you can lift them up. You can put some in first. Make sure there's some underneath too. There you go. And the rest just gets poured on. have the brine on we will cover it with aluminum foil and we're going to refrigerate this overnight for eight hours and then we'll take it out and we're going to put it on a wire rack so it dries a little and the exterior gets sticky that way the smoke will adhere better to the salmon all right let's do it okay so it's the next day the salmon is brined overnight 
and we are going to take a little peek. Come take a peek. So we've got this beautiful salmon that has brined in the soy sauce and wine and all other sort of seasonings, of course, and salt and sugar overnight. And now we are going to put it on a wire rack to dry and it's going to get a pellicle correct pronunciation and that is basically a tacky surface on the fish so the smoke will adhere to it better okay that's it for me today guys i hope you enjoyed my smoked salmon and brine recipe it's amazing i hope you take the time to make it and check it out and don't forget life's too short to be bland see you next time well hello oliver are you going to help clean up today you don't like fish. Yeah.